from New Eve C. Put in the car to the my runner gets you speedy. Still thugging like the days when they weren't here in my CD. Made it out of the trenches. Yeah, salute when you see me. Yeah, salute when you see me. I'm getting greedy. I blow the whole budget on me. That's on me. I'm conceited. Treaty. Nah, that ain't how we treat it. This right here sound like a three-peat. I put the th in it sound like I'm needy, but I'm like, oh, I'll you too needy. Me and HB going Juvie and BG. They got to put my face on the box of Wheaties. I'm praying for whoever think they compete. So look when you see me. That's all the ever, so that's how you greet me. I'm going TM 101 cheesy, and plus they got D2 on repeat. I'm with the love of my life for like three weeks, because that's all I needed. She want to go on a trip or retreat, but I'm sorry I never retreated. I set the bar so high that you might as well leave it. I'm going undefeated. I've broken the system, had to breach it. That's mission impossible, mission completed. Uh, uh, salute when you see me. I got the heart of a god and a genie. I want you to love me, I want you to need me. Uh, when I this face is feeding. I gotta get back to the hood. I remember when I was the needy. Uh, clean me up, clean me up. squeaky. Uh, she fell in love, fell in love. deeply. deeply. They like what I say, they repeat me. Hey, hey, yeah, hey. look. Uh, all this money I be spending on babies. Huh. That's why you got so many new scenes. in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. So this was the scene a moment ago. The Cardinals emerging from their tunnel, and we are ready for football as the cards get set to match up with the Carolina Panthers. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey and an early how do you do right there as they're going to bury him in the backfield it'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play second down nice play right there to stop him behind the line but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half yeah we know you know better than I he has the ability to take over a game so what do you do yeah I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels, because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Kaepernick now to throw. Taking a shot here for Marshall. And that would be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here's the Panthers punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Able to push his way through. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, this defense for the Panthers, they were very solid last week in the victory over Baltimore. No matter what coverage was called, they were right in the hip pockets of the receivers all game long, step for step, running their routes with them. Turned out they were right there every time the ball was in the air, and they came away with five interceptions in that one. And he'll be taken down here at about the 23-yard line. Now third down is looming, a pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Shotgun now for Murray. 
That's complete. It's Damian Willis. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Play fake. Murray. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Going deep for Hopkins. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. And that may have been incomplete, but he reminds me so much of when my dad used to take me to the baseball stadium and watch the home run hitters in batting practice. I'll get to the stadium early just to watch this kid throw it. He can throw it out of the stadium. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Now Jordan Berry on to kick this one away. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. This is taken at about the 14. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Panthers will take over now first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Second and 10. A handoff, McCaffrey running right, and he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside, and he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. And he'll get this one way up, just shy of the 45-yard line. Boy, a lot of moving parts on this play, but what a nice design to leak the running back out to the left and send him down the field. And a good job spotting him and hitting him for a big play. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And yeah, he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Now Kaepernick. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To throw, it's Kaepernick. And he fires one, but incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Arizona. 
Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv and you run into a tough crowd. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll run left with Pollard. Oh, he's got a little daylight. CD, I mean, there are touchdown runs, and then there are touchdown runs, and that one certainly fell into the latter category, and that deserves a couple of exclamation points. I think defensively, when you look at a play like that, that's when everyone looks at their teammates and starts shaking their heads a little bit because now you're wondering, what are we in for? What the hell we to try and limit the big player ability that he possesses, and he winds up taking one to the house in the very first quarter. That was a tremendous run. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. A uh, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play car, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Taking a shot here for Marshall. And got his man complete. And all the way down to the 35. A big play there for Carolina. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Now a handoff here to his running back. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. That catch good for five. It's third down. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. From the gun, it's Kaepernick. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 18. And now the rookie's free. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. A big play there by the rookie. An interception followed by the return for six points. If you want to be accepted by your teammates and coaching staff, make plays like that. Extra point good by Prater. And that'll make the score 14 to 0. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. 
And here comes a return from the middle. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And the Cardinals have got it, going the other way. So they take over not only in enemy territory, but in the red zone at the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now Murray. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. Think a game catch the ball in the backfield a week ago, and they're going to try and involve him in that way in this game as well. But you can tell scouting has taken over. They're making it a little bit more difficult. And defensively, they told us, hey, we've got to take him out of the passing game, limit it to just short runs, because he can really impact this offense. They fake the handoff. Now Murray. Touchdown, Cardinals! Kelvin Harmon, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cardinals are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Prater for the extra point. And it's now 21 to nothing. So how about this for a start? 21 nothing here in the first as they kick this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. A big connection on that one. 35 yards. Twenty-one nothing. Our score after one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. Oh, able to avoid him. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. To go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. On first and 10, here's Camperton. Complete on the quick throw to Moore. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense could get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays. You know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A nice run there. Eight yards moves him much closer to the goal line now for third down. Well, I don't even have to stretch for this one. This is four down territory. They've got to get it in with the deficit that they're facing. Absolutely. It's not the fourth quarter, but still, you, I think you, you can't be thinking three here. No, if you do that, you might as well go ahead and fold up on this one. But I don't think they're built like that. He rifles complete. Caught by Moore. Touchdown! D.J. Moore. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Now this is going to be returned from the back line of the end zone.
ready to go with their next drive and at the line the Cardinal offense they are clicking on all cylinders they seem to be just scoring at will right now and that's why they've opened up this big lead now we always talk about getting into the zone and all athletes are seeking that aren't they but everything is working for them every move they make works it clicks and they are on point right now yeah they are in that zone that you're talking about a loss of a yard there to start out that leads to a second and 11. Murray now Murray has it knocked loose fumble a lot of bad news on that play for them wasn't there lost the football lost a lot of yardage but I think the good news outweighs it able to retain possession that was big for them so possession still theirs but now they face a third down It'll be a handoff to Pollard. Fighting to get back to the goal line. I don't think he got there. He did not. Did not get back there. It's a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached. It's coached. It's thought about. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. A little bit of daylight on that first down run sets them up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. On play action, it's Kaepernick. Taking a shot here for Marshall. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Panthers. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years with the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. you got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. Murray now on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Willis. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 84 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run with Pollard. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Now a throw here to his running back. Touchdown, Cardinals! Tony Pollard 
with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. Extra point good by Prater, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tenant. Oh, that's just not fair. And now run to run. He's at the 30, 10, 5. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey, a, a guy that can beat you in so many ways. He's a threat to go the distance literally every time he touches the football. And this is a play defensively where you're just looking around and saying, what was that? What just happened? You're looking at your teammates, they're looking at you. And let's face it, your defensive coordinator, he's not going to tip his cap to him. That's not how football works, but he probably should have after that run. That was absolutely sensational. And he covered a lot of ground on that one, as evidenced by the final total there on Next Gen Stats. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. From the gun, Murray. Pass incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Murray going to throw. Pressure comes in, he's brought down, it's a Panther sack. Derek Brown in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Here's Jordan Berry now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. Throwing on first down is Kaepernick. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he's got room. Touchdown, Christian McCaffrey. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Panthers have tied this game up. They can take... Extra point. Gonzalez to add the PAT. And with that, his guys take the lead here by a point. Makes 
Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Murray now to throw. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now a give here to Pollard. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Meanwhile, Murray's throw taken in by Cook. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on first down is Murray. Touchdown, Cardinals! DeAndre Hopkins, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals have retaken the lead. Prater for the extra point, and that'll make this a six-point game. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone, and he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal range. Flushed out right. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Working from the gun, it's Kaepernick. That's complete out right to the tight end, Tremble. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. To throw is Kaepernick. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. So now at third and seven, and defensively, it's a dime look. Six DBs. Kaepernick going to throw. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Now, Kaepernick again. Open man left side. It's the tight end, Trimble. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So 
so three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Pollard. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Out of the gun. Here's Murray. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. If your sympathy is live with the defense, you understand how tough it is for linebackers to run with a guy like this. He's going to slip out of the backfield and then work in the middle of the field. And sometimes those defenders get preoccupied with other people moving, and he finds open space and makes a nice play. On first down, Pollard. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. So the left side, it's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tab. And all will be intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it up. And the Panthers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. So it was a 
real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Zabin Collins there to make the play defensively. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. He's having a big game running the football, but that will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. From the gun on third down, Kaepernick. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Now a handoff looking right. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Tackled by Isaiah Simmons. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here's second and ten. Here's Kaepernick. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good. Solid there again. Just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, Takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. Kaepernick wants to throw on third and one. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Throw left side complete. That's more. And he's got some space here. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Boy, that's some kind of effort. When he caught it, I doubted if he could get there. Knew it was going to be close, but credit him. Really good effort. How about the rack on that play, the run after catch? But most of the time, we think of it as just being an open field and picking up yardage. Sometimes you have to be real physical in order to gain the yardage you need for a first down. They run the counter now on first down. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That guy calls a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. This is McCaffrey on the give. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. That time, they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. Marshall, 
his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers are once again going to retake the lead. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. They go back to Pollard on second down. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Pollard. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. On second down, it's Pollard. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play, backwards a yard. To throw is Murray. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. Throwing now is Murray. And that's off the mark, incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Strip that ball. 47 the mic, boy, 47. Check, check. Watch the curl, watch the curl, watch the curl. Run for Pollard. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 139 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Check, 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 check. 
First down, and it's Pollard again. And this time, the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle him behind the line. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. On second and 11 now, Murray. He'll air this out deep for Harmon. And this one is incomplete. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. The Cardinals on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 11. Here's Murray. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. On the right hash, officially, this will be a 51-yard attempt. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. So that Charles, a season long right there. And you know who's really excited about that? The special teams coordinator, because he's the one who has to tell the head coach in pregame, this is where we trust him from. This distance, he can hit it, and he repaid that trust by knocking that one right through. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Second and eight coming up. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Panthers on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and five. Here's Kaepernick to throw. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. Here's the Panthers punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. So that one will be accepted. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. Shotgun now for Murray. Over the middle complete. That's Willis. And some space here. And he will take this into enemy territory as he's on the other side of midfield. A big play there on the catch and run. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You talk about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try and throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. 
Third down, trying to get a little bit closer. From here, the field goal would be 55 yards. Here's Murray. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Come on, boy. You be on second down, Pollard. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 144 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. The Cardinals on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and four. Now Murray. Flush to his right. And yeah, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Murray on the sneak. We just totally get the sense there that a field goal was not in the game plan at all. And the boys up front, they created the surge. I think they knew that they had the leverage advantage. Oh, that's a great point there. Being able to get lower than the defensive front, create just enough space. And I love when those quarterbacks get low and slide in there and get it done. To throw, it's Murray. Escaping the pressure right toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. From the gun, Murray. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kelvin Harmon, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cardinals on just two plays have taken the lead. It appears they're going to throw for it with Murray. And it is incomplete, so they can't convert for two. And now the lead stays at five. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now Kaepernick. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. Two. 
So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. And this nearly intercepted. Probably should have been. Had he caught it, it would have sealed it. Instead, one more chance coming up on fourth down. And down by five, they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Now Kaepernick, got to have this one. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turn on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's Pollard again. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Tony Pollard, a 21-yard touchdown run. And the Cards look like they're about to put an end to their two-game losing streak as they add on to their lead. Extra point good by Prater, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make a man. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, and that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. Now here's Pollard, and he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. Tony Pollard taking it in from a yard out. And the Cardinals look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Prater for the extra point. And that will make this a 19-point game. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Eluding the pressure right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A big play there for Carolina. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10, to throw Kaepernick. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. 
And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Panthers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Kicks it on the ground with a squib, taken around the 28. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Down to a knee, here as the Cardinals look to let the clock roll. But Charles, it's one thing to win, it's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving.